Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we're going to talk about a comparison of the 2020 White Sox to the projected 2020 Minnesota Twins. The Twins being probably our um, biggest competitors going into the 2020 season. If you remember last year, the Twins did win their, um, they did win the AL Central. The White Sox finished um, third in the division, I believe. And uh, we finished quite a few games behind them, but that was at, before many off-season signings that we've had, like Grandall and... Um, the rotation, Keuchel and um, Gio Gonzalez and um, and Canarcion for the lineup at DH. So we've had a pretty good off season, but the Twins have actually recently added two starting pitchers, which we will talk about, and um, then they have pretty much the same powerful lineup coming back. So I thought we would uh, talk about the Twins and how they compare to the White Sox. And uh, so you can see I've got both the lineups here and then the rotations and then the uh, bullpens and the benches. Now, I want to preface this by saying these are just projected hypothetical lineups. I know that you know, you're a White Sox fan, you could say, well, shouldn't Tim Anderson be batting first and not Moncada? Or shouldn't um, Encarnacion be batting third, possibly? And Abreu um, batting cleanup? And is it really going to be uh, Mendick or Mandrigal at second base? I mean, there, these are a lot of questions that I can't answer and you can't answer. Only really Ricky Renneria can answer some of those questions. So I'm just kind of just throwing this lineup up here, these lineups, based on what I've saw online and what's projected and what is a general lineup idea. The same thing with the rotation, like you'll notice down here um, for the uh, White Sox rotation, I have Cease and Kopech, like kind of listed together because... There's going to have to be a decision made here because the, there's five spots here and there's six starting potential starting pitchers. So, you know, do we know exactly what Renneria is going to do? No, I don't. He didn't call me. So I don't know exactly how he's going to handle it. That is, you know, some of those things are things we're just going to have to wait and see when the season gets underway. Same thing with the Twins. If you're a Twins fan watching this, and you say, no, that isn't what their lineup would be. Well, you know, unless you're Rocco Baldelli, I'm not really taking that as, uh, you know, gospel that that's how it's going to be. So nobody really knows, but these are just general generalizations of what the lineups might look like, what the rotations might look like, etc. So you can see we've got the lineup here for the White Sox. Moncada at third. Tim Anderson at short, Abreu at first, Encarnacion at DH, Grandal at catcher, Jimenez in left, Mazzara in right. Then I've got Garcia and Engel center field. You know, who knows what they're going to do. They, they may start Garcia out there because he can hit and Engel isn't as good at hitting, but then you don't know. Maybe Engel comes to camp. Maybe he's been working on his hitting in the spring and he can hit or uh, in the winter, and he can hit a lot better when he comes to spring training. And if he can, he's a way better defensive center fielder than Garcia would be. And then I've got Mendick, and then I got Mandrigal in parentheses, because uh, Mandrigal, I believe, is the one that's going to be, that potentially will be coming up after his free agent clock isn't running anymore and then would potentially be the starting second baseman. But Mendick would probably hold that spot down for him until he got on the big club, but then Mendick might become a utility infielder. 
Then you can see here we've got the rotation for the White Sox. Giolito, Keuchel, uh, Ronaldo Lopez, Gio Gonzalez, and then Cease, uh, as I said before, Cease or Kopech, Cease and or Kopech interchangeably. Who knows? One of them maybe. Who knows? But, I mean, these are. this is the decision that Renneria is going to have to make. And I wouldn't want to be the one to have to make it. It might even be made based on spring training results. Who knows? Um, and then whoever doesn't get that spot might be over here in the bullpen. That's possible too. So then you got the bullpen, uh, Bummer, uh, Evan Marshall, Colome, Carson Fulmer, potentially um, Dylan Covey, although Covey has had quite a few bad seasons in the major leagues so far to start his major league career so who knows if he would really even make the roster um jace fry kelvin herrera and then down here you've got the bench projected bench of mccann um uh what is that cuthbert that we just got from Kansas City, signed away from Kansas City, and uh, Ches that's Chesler Cuthbert, and then uh, Zach Collins. Zach Collins, again, didn't have a very good uh, season for the time that he was up with the White Sox last year, and he played some catcher, but now we went out and we got Grandall, and we have McCann, so who knows, maybe he doesn't make the roster, maybe he does, don't know. I'm not Ricky Renneria. So now over here we got the uh, we got the Twins, and the Twins had one heck of a lineup, and they're going to have a heck of a lineup coming back. You got guys on here like Kepler who hit 252 with 36 home runs. Uh, Polanco, their shortstop, hit 295 with 22 homers last year. Cruz, their DH, of course we know. That, um, that Cruz is one heck of a hitter, and he batted 211 last year with 41 home runs. Um, then you got Garver at catcher, had 311 at bats, and he hit 31 homers. A home run every 10 times up. That's Babe Ruthian right there. And then you got Arias, their second baseman, who hit 334 last year. He had a slash line of 334, 399, 838. And then uh, Sano, their third baseman, had uh, 34 home runs. He's not a very good third baseman defensively, but again, he had 34 home runs. And then uh, in their rotation, some of these guys might not be household names. In fact, they aren't. Now, of course, Barrios and Odorizzi are, and they're well-established, good major league starting pitchers. In fact, Barrios is almost elite level starter. Um, then you got um, Smelter. Now, Smelter last year uh, pitched limitedly. He uh, only had 49 innings last year with a 386 earned run average and a 127 whip at the major league level for the Twins. And then uh, Rich Hill, who they um, recently signed, Rich Hill last year, I, don't, I guess he was injured. He only had 59 innings, and he had a 245 earned run average with a 113 whip. Of course, it's well established that Rich Hill the last few years has been a very good starting pitcher. However, he is getting on in years. And then you got uh, Homer Bailey, who finally seemed to have somewhat turned the corner a little bit last year, pitching uh, both, I believe, for Kansas City and for Oakland. For parts of uh, of last year, and last year he was 13 and nine with a 4.57 earned run average and a 132 WHIP. Those are not totally impressive statistics, but they are much better than what Bailey has been doing. And then, of course, over here you've got the Twins bullpen, and the Twins bullpen is excellent. And this is why I've been saying, if you watch some of my last videos. The White Sox really do need to upgrade that bullpen. The bullpen is going to be a problem if we have to compete with bullpens like this. You've got um, uh, Taylor Rogers, Trevor May, Sergio Romero, 
Tyler Clippard, Tyler Duffy, Matt Wisler, and I think that's Zach Littell out there. I don't know much about Zach Littell, but the other guys I know a lot about, and they're good. And then down here we've got a potential bench of Alex Avila, who they just signed away from Arizona. And then uh, Adrianza, Jake Cave, who is a very capable guy, and here he is as a bench player. And then you've got um, Wilson Ostadillo. So, or Williams Ostadillo, sorry. So, uh, you can see the Twins are solid. They are solid. And um, it's going to take, it's still going to take some work on the part of the White Sox to overcome this. And then, of course, you've got up here the manager, Ricky Renneria, versus Rocco Baldelli. And I would take Rocco Baldelli in that matchup any day and twice on Sunday. So, yeah, we've, we've got a ways to go. We still need to upgrade the bullpen a little bit. I think the lineup is fine to go head-to-head -head with this lineup because um, the one thing about all the home runs and production that these guys had is it can't go on forever. Like Garver hitting a home run every 10 times up. You really have to believe that with as teams get films on him hitting and find out his weaknesses, he's not going to be able to maintain uh, a home run every 10 times up. It's just not going to happen. And um, Cruz, you would have to hope that sometime is getting old enough where he stops hitting 40 home runs. Um, but we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't happen. But basically, these guys, a lot of them had career-type years. I don't want to say career years because we don't know. Um, but career-type years. So, sure, if they um, manage to duplicate that again in 2020, I think the White Sox are in some trouble again and going to finish at least second to them. Um, the rotation is, I mean, the top two are really good. The bottom three, they have some questions. Hill is getting older. He was possibly injured last year. Um, Bailey is Homer Bailey. I mean, he hasn't really had a great year yet. And then we haven't really seen a lot of Smelter. So that's a potential weakness as compared to the White Sox. Potentially they don't have as good a starting rotation. But if the lineup keeps hitting like it did, and the bullpen is as good as these guys' reputation has been, it's still going to be an uphill battle. So that's what I got for you guys. I just wanted to do this comparison. I think the Twins are the, the prime competition for the White Sox, but I'll keep doing videos, um, you know, as we go forward, I will do other videos comparing the White Sox to other American League teams, especially their prime competition, teams that they might be in competition with for the wild card, things like that. But I would be interested to hear what you guys think. Um, what are your comments? Uh, do you think that the uh, this White Sox team as it is right here can contend with this Twins team as it is right here? Um, do you think the Twins are going to take a step back from what they did, especially some of their hitters? A lot of questions for 2020, and I'd be interested to hear what everybody out there thinks. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.